Good evening. I'm Congressman Jim Clyburn here in historic Charleston, South Carolina. Six months ago, I stood not far from here and endorsed Joe Biden to be our 46th president. It was a decision I made with my feet firmly planted in this community. This community, where 80% of African Americans in this country can claim an ancestor who arrived on these shores in bondage, a few blocks from here over at Gaston's Wharf. This community that is still healing from the wounds we received when a white supremacist entered Emmanuel AME Church and murdered nine black parishioners as they studied the Bible together. The ground beneath our feet is seeded with pain that is both old and new. But from that soil, we always find a way to grow together. Earlier this summer, the city of Charleston removed its statute honoring John C. Calhoun, an honored advocate of slavery. And construction is underway on the International African American Museum at Gadsden's Wharf. Much like the country as a whole, we are stepping out from the shadows of our past and beginning to lay the groundwork for a more just future. It won't be easy. We can only succeed if we move forward together. So we will need a president who sees unifying people as a requirement of the job, a president who understands the true meaning of community and how to build it through trust and humility. And with so many families experiencing loss in this pandemic, lost jobs, lost loved ones, and lost confidence in the president to keep us safe, we need a president who understands both profound loss and what it takes to bounce back. But more important than his firsthand experience with loss and hardship is his ability to translate that perspective into policy and solutions and prioritize hardworking people and persistent poverty counties over partisan politics or personal gain. That's why I stand with Joe and why he will always be an adopted son of South Carolina. Joe Biden is as good a man as he is a leader. I have said before and wish to reiterate tonight, we know Joe, but more importantly, Joe knows us.